Hi, this is Katie Weeks, your independent close to my heart maker. And today I am bringing you card number three for the November Stamp of the Month card kit. And there you'll see the three cards. And we are going to start off with some prepping some cardstock. And I'm doing the light side of the scarlet and the light side of the pine cardstock. And I'm going to be stamping them with the medium and small mandela snowflakes that are in this uh, christmas snowflake mandela's stamp set and i'm using my versamark ink to stamp them up and i'm actually going to not be featuring them as snowflakes as much as um, making a poinsettia out of them so i think you'll really enjoy this one um, I've seen several different consultants make it into a poinsettia, and I think it's just beautiful. You can do it with any, the large one or this medium one. The medium one just happened to fit well into on the front of my card. So here I'm using the Princess Gold Embossing Powder, and yes, I even included some embossing powder in your Card of the Month stamp kits if you qualify for the $5 stamp of the month or the free stamp of the month if you're one of my VIPs and you'll get these pre-cut card kits all ready to go and um, so I'm stamping these all up putting the embossing powder on them and then you'll see me um, go and get them ready and I will heat them with my heating tool in just a minute and here I'm doing that smallest little snowflake that came in the stamp set. Sorry, I'm a little bit off camera there. My camera sits up so high, I can't really see what I am, if I'm in, in shot, so sorry about that. So I heated all of these, and you notice I'm heating it on my all-purpose mat. This is absolutely wonderful. Do not put your Versa mat underneath your heating tool, but this all-purpose mat works wonderful. And now I am going to come in with my uh, pine ink and I drew a very faint pencil line about, I don't know, about an inch from the bottom of that paper that's from the Four Seasons Winter Paper Pack. And it kind of looks like um, some sort of uh, tree print, like maybe birch or something. I'm not what... I'm not sure what kind of tree uh, bark it looks like. And I stamped that and made a line all the way across. It looks absolutely beautiful. I, and it lined up very, very easily. And here I am putting that striped paper from the Four Seasons Winter Paper Pack onto my card base. And then I'm going to stamp with the Scarlet ink on my... Um, on that paper as well. So I'm gonna erase those pencil lines. I kind of let the ink sit a little bit before I went straight in with an eraser. And now I'm going to stamp, wishing you a joyful Christmas, I believe is the sentiment I chose. Um, I tried it on some scrap paper first just to make sure I had a good impression. I made sure I had that foam underneath my paper and I let it sit for a minute, just letting that ink soak into the paper. And I got a beautiful impression on that one. So this one is a very fast card. I'm telling you, the embossing is what took the longest. So I'm going to put this paper on the front of my card and center it up. And then I'm going to first put down that green snowflake <laughs> or what I'm using as leaves. Um, I'm putting that one on. And then I curled up the edges of the scarlet one. I just put a little bit of adhesive in the center on the back of that. And then I curled it up with a bone folder just to give it some dimensions. If you looked at my still, still shots, it looked almost like there was a blue ink layer underneath the flower. And I'm telling you that literally was all shadows. It has a lot of dimension. And then I'm bringing in a little bit of foam tape and putting it underneath that smallest um, snowflake that I'm putting in the center of that um, poinsettia. 
and I think that really gave it a lot of extra dimension. And then I'm going to come in with a large gold glitter gem and pop that in the center of the flower. And then I'm just going to put a couple smaller ones in there because we just like to do things in threes for embellishments. So I slid those in right beside the sentiment, the words joyful and Christmas. They're already larger words and this just kind of accented them a little bit more. And there you go. You have a pretty quick card. Embossing and cutting out those uh, layers. See the shadows. I'm telling you, it has so much dimension. It's gorgeous. That's what took the longest, though, was cutting that out. So here are the three cards once again. I hope you will hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And then click on my channel below and then hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, as always, for coming and visiting my channel. And feel free to leave a sweet comment. Tell me if you learned anything and share it with your crafty friends. Have a great day.